What's up everyone? I'm Josh Elkin and today I'm trying my hand in making some pork dumplings. But the last time I made pork dumplings, I had so much pork filling left over. So I'm also going to make a handheld version of a pork dumpling for on the go. Let's get on with the recipe. Dumplings are that type of food that depending on your geographical location depends on what you comprehend a dumpling being. The actual definition, it's a dish that consists of dough stuffed with filling, in this case, pork and cabbage. This is such a simple recipe with simple ingredients, but when you combine all of them, the flavor is unmatched. Kind of reminds me of an old sales technique that I was told. Kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. It's like that. I'm keeping it simple with garlic, ginger, soy sauce, green onions, and cilantro. Now I gotta uncover something here. I had all these ingredients laying around and I made these before I actually recorded this video and I found something out about myself. I never even knew they were made that way. All right, so we got all of our ingredients, our garlic, our ginger, our green onions, the white part and the green part, and our cilantro. And our cabbage is soaking, or rather dehydrating, because I covered it in salt, which is gonna help wilt it down and remove some of the moisture, which is definitely needed because we do not want these to be soggy. Now brace yourself people. If you are recreating this dish, you're probably going to want to eat it as is. Now I know you're not supposed to eat pork raw and I'm not saying you should do that, but the flavors that are injected into this bowl are so inviting, it's going to be hard for you not to eat every dumpling you make as soon as it's ready. Let's do a little recap, shall we? Green onions, cilantro, ginger, garlic, cabbage, a little bit of pork, some sesame oil, salt and pepper, and of course, some soy. When making a mixture for dumplings, you really want to combine all the ingredients to an even consistency. And the reason that is, is because each dumpling is kind of small and you want to bite into it and get every single ingredient. So consider using your hands to mix it. All right, it's time to make these suckers. Now I'm using some egg roll wrapper cut into squares, but you could easily use wonton wrappers as well. All you gotta do is grab a cookie cutter to whatever circle size you want and start cutting, which is going to come in handy later when we have leftover pork filling and we wanna make a handheld dumpling, but we're not there. Use your best judgment when filling these pork dumplings. See the size of mine? It's about, I wanna say five inches in diameter, so I'm using just about two tablespoons worth of filling. The whole idea is you wanna be able to close them and pinch them shut without the filling exploding. Now you can cook pork dumplings many different ways. You could fry them, you could steam them, you could boil them. I am gonna pan fry one side, then introduce a little H2O to create a steam vacuum. That way, they're gonna be crispy on one side and fully cooked and soft on the other. Now I could easily just pop these bad boys and feel great about myself, or I can make a dipping sauce because as we all know, it's way more fun to dip things than to eat them dry. And that's not to say that these pork dumplings are dry. I just like dipping and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. After making 20 of these dumplings, I still had so much filling left over. So I was thinking to myself, okay, don't cut the egg roll wrapper into fours. Instead, make one handheld oversized dumpling. Use the exact same way you made the mini ones, just in handheld size. Then, even after making two handheld versions, I still had more filling left over. So I was thinking, okay, okay, attach four egg roll wrappers together, create one extra large pork dumpling. You could knife and fork it, you could really do anything you want, but it is extra large. And just like the mini ones, and just like the medium handheld ones, this is just as delicious. Whoa. All right, regular human-sized pork dumplings filled with pork, cabbage, green onions, cilantro, ginger, garlic, salt, pepper, sesame oil, and soy sauce. Oh yeah. The handheld version. You wanna take it on the go. You gotta walk your dog. It's the hot pocket of the dumpling world. After all that, extra large versions. Now this, yeah, could be handheld like a quesadilla. If you guys want to learn how to make this pork dumpling recipe, hit up recipechampions.com or check out the link down below. I got so much pork and so many dumplings to eat. Bye.